the woodland. Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Ranger Bill. Say, did you hear that strange noise? What did you think it was? Kind of hard to tell just what it was, don't you think? You know, the first time I heard it, I couldn't believe my ears. When I saw what was making the noise, I couldn't believe my eyes. Well, finding out what that noise was and then trying to find out a way to stop it gave Henry and myself one of the most exciting adventures of our lives. I call it The Mountain That Moved. My land, Clem, there you go, slamming that there screen door again. Won't you never learn? Oh, Martha, seems like I forget. I don't go for to slam it, but somehow or other, I, I just... I know, I know. Of course, you've been forgetting for 40 years. Yes, and for 40 years, you've been reminding me. Oh, Clem. <laughs> uh, come over here and set a spell in your rocker. Well, reckon I will. <sighs> cool Feels... enough, I might have reckoned. It sure is, it sure is. And the sun's dropping behind the mountain. You know, taint everybody that has a mountain in their backyard like we got, Marthy. Why, that there mountain has shielded us from the hot sun in the summertime and, oh, the cold winds in the winter. Well, you know, ever since we homesteaded here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Clem. What? I hear that noise again. What noise, Martha? Oh, you know, Clem. The noise. Now, now, listen. Now, don't tell me you can't hear it. Oh, I hear it all right. We keep hearing it more often lately. What is it, Clem? he got no idea. Thunder, maybe? No, that ain't no thunder, Clem. Not a cloud in the sky. Oh, that's right. Well... Whatever it is, it'll 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 go away. Oh, you always say that. Well, it always does go away, don't it? I don't like it, Clem. I just don't like it. It's some kind of a noise. Seems to come from over by that mountain. There. You see, she's quit. Does come over from by the mountain, though. Well, whatever she is, she don't amount to nothing. Good morning, glad to see you I take it you're Mr. Chenoweth That's right, sir, and I take it you're Ranger Bill That's right I have my credentials here in case you... Oh, no, I got your telegrams, and I was expecting you I got two telegrams, one from you and one from the... uh... The United States Geodetic Survey That's right well, what brings you out to our neck of the woods, Mr. Chenoweth? Oh, I don't exactly know. Mm, fishing's pretty good. No, I'm not here to fish. I'm here as a sort of detective, I guess. Mm, detective? Geographical detective. Bill, I'm a seismologist. Oh, you're one of those... Uh... Yeah, that's right. I specialize in the study of disturbances on the Earth's surface. Ah, uh, earthquakes, sir. Eh? Well, yes. Any shifting in the Earth's crust. It's a big world, you know, Bill, and every now and then it gives... A sort of a shake and a shudder, and when it does, mm-hmm. well, it means trouble. But this is an earthquake country. Oh, I know that. And that's the strange part of it all. 
In fact, that's why I'm here in your office this morning. Now, look here. Mm hmm. Now, these probably won't mean much to you, but they mean a great deal, a very great deal to a seismologist. These are papers, charts, or, or graphs taken from our recording machines in Washington. Oh, yeah. We have machines there so delicate and sensitive that any movement in the Earth's surface anywhere in the world is registered on those machines. Mm -hmm. in, J in Japan or under the sea or, or anywhere, in fact. Any such movement is picked up by those machines and then we can compute exactly where the disturbance originates. But what has all that got to do with Naughty Pie? A very great deal. Uh, I've checked and rechecked my figures and have come to the same conclusion each time. Something is happening to part of the Earth's surface near here. And whatever it is, I can tell you right now, it's something I don't like. Well, here's the best place, Stumpy. The water's deep, right by this jib rock. <laughs> We sure clum plumb up this here mountain, and the no. fishing better be good. <laughs> well, high mountain streams are the best places for trout. Go ahead and cast. Yeah, sure. Here goes. <laughs> I got him. Yeah. The great granddaddy of all trout. I got him. Oh, oh. <laughs> easy. Get ready, Henry. Right. I'm a plain and easy leg. Yeah. Oh, 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 got away there. Oh, man, oh, easy, easy. Get the net, Henry, get the net. Okay. There. There. Pop him into the creel. I told you the only thing to do was climb up this here mountain if he wanted to get the lunkers. Hey, what's the matter? Nothing, I guess. Well, something must be the matter if it makes you stop talking. Just for a minute there, I, well, I felt kind of dizzy, but, but I ain't. Dizzy, if you know what I mean. Well, maybe the sun's too hot. No, hard. no. Hey, hey, what's the matter with you? You're jumping all around like that. Uh, I lost my footing for a minute. Yeah, but, but what I can figure out is this. How can a man lose his footing when he's standing still? Henry, when I told you I thought I was dizzy, it was because the ground right under me seemed like it was, was moving. And then you... Henry... There's something awful the matter with this mountain. Let's get out of here. Uh, what you reckon you want for supper, Clem? Well, being as how she's such a nice day, Marthy, and I thought I'd like to take a walk up to the mountain, to one of them trout streams, and see if I couldn't get us a mess of trout for supper. Mm, sounds good. Well, if you're going, you better get started. Oh, there's plenty of time. Hey, well, let's just sit here and rest for a while on the stoop. Let's just rest. <gasps> oh, gracious. Land sakes, what was that? Oh, what go that? see, Claire. That cat's been sitting right here on my lap all the time. Then... Then what made that cream pitcher fall off the shelf, Clem, all by itself? Well, I don't know. Maybe you sit it too close to the edge. Oh, my very best souvenir of the world's fair cream pitcher. Never. Now, you know better than to say that, Clem. Oh, reckon we'll get another one, Marthy, next time we... What? What's got into you? The cat. The, 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 I mean, the cat's tail. Look at that cat's tail, Marthy. It's all puffed up like a balloon. That means she's frightened. Frightened of what, Martha? <laughs> Oh, 
Nice of you to invite me to lunch, Bill, before we get started for the mountain. Mm-hmm. Ah, fried ham, country style, and sweet potatoes. Ah, makes a fella hungry just to... Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Dear Lord Jesus, we ask you to bless this food to our use and to be with us this day as we start on our trip to the mountain. We ask this in your name. Amen. Do you, uh, do you always ask grace like that before meals? That's right, Mr. Chenoweth. Hmm, I see. And uh, does it work? Hmm, work? Well, I mean, uh, do you... Well, we're Christians here, Mr. Chenoweth, and so we're grateful for the opportunity to ask the Lord's blessing on the food he supplies and to thank him for it. We do this because we're happy to do it. But you said something just then about our trip this afternoon. Well, Christians continually ask the Lord for help and guidance in anything they undertake. Well, uh, I thought people did that sort of thing in, in church on Sunday. Well, they do. But you don't have to be in church to pray. Oh. <laughs> well, this res- scientific research of mine, of ours, this afternoon, do you really think the Lord is concerned with that? Mm-hmm. I know he is. Mm. But the Lord didn't send me out here. It's those danger marks and those calibrated charts and graphs. That's the only reason I'm here. Are you sure? Why? Well, as a scientist, of course I'm sure. Pass the ham, please. Are you going too fast, will you? Oh, no. Keep it up. I can follow. Uh, Mr. Chenoweth, with, uh, do you know what we'll find when we get to the mountain? Well, let's say I'm afraid of what we'll find. Huh? Afraid? Yes. From all the symptoms and all the clues and the indications we have, it begins to look very much as though old Thunderhead, as you call it, has just decided to uh, move. What? A whole mountain move? Mm-hmm. Oh, Mr. Channel, with you must be joking. No. Well, is this an earthquake? No, it's not that. A volcano? No. Well, what then? Well, Bill, we have a historical background for this sort of thing. It's happened before, you know. Yes? Several times in South America, on the fringe of the Andes, a, a mountain, a, a whole mountain will move, hmm. will shift, change position, if you like. Maybe oh, a sure. matter of a few feet, maybe several miles. Uh, slides downhill, you mean? Well, not necessarily. But it's a gradual thing and moves slowly like a glacier. No, when it goes, it goes fast. Not a volcanic eruption, not an earthquake. Not a landslide or an avalanche, just a a mountain that moves. But what causes it? Probably some great cataclysmic upheaval or disturbance deep, deep in the center of the earth. Either that or gradual erosion of the base of the mountain over the centuries, or a crumbling of the mountain's foundation. But this was in South America. It's happened in Italy, too, near the Alps. Mm, Far away. Oh, it's happened in this country. Hmm? In the year 1906, in the state of Washington, near the Rockies. Near the... Why, we're near the... Oh, but... But can it be stopped? I, I think so. I think so. How? Depth charges. Depth charges? What are you talking about? This is a mountain we're headed for, not an ocean. Oh, I know. I know that, Bill. But what invariably happens in a case like this, when a mountain starts to move, great cracks appear. Giant cracks in the Earth's surface. We call them crevasses. Uh-huh. They can be hundreds of feet deep. And if you can lower a high explosive down to the bottom and detonate it, the incredible force of such an underground blast but will... But we don't have any such explosive. Oh, yes, we do. Plenty of it. Compound C in that knapsack on your back. Huh? Plus fine nylon rope with a, the electric detonating wire woven right into it. Oh. Um, Mr. Chenoweth. Mm, yes, Bill? In those cases you told me about, when a mountain moved, were there people living on those mountains? Mm-hmm, there were. And, uh, and what, uh, what happened to them? I understand. I should have known. Dear Lord Jesus, help those people up there today on Old Thunderhead and help us to help them. Amen. You know, it's interesting to me as a scientist to observe how a man like yourself resorts to prayer. Prayer is available for everyone, Mr. Chenoweth, even scientists. Yes, yes, of course. However, and I'm sure you know I have no wish to hurt your feelings, for my part, I'll put my faith in modern-day know-how. Well, I can walk much faster than we have been. How about stepping up the pace, and I'll follow. Well, 
Well, we're nearly down now. I just caught a glimpse of level ground. Can't be far now. <laughs> yeah, good. We're about going to come out at Clem and Marthy's farmhouse. Good thing, too. And Marthy will have a pitch of ice cold buttermilk somewhere handy. Yes, sir. I could uh, use we're almost down the... now. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Henry, Henry, help me. I fell down. I can't get up. I ain't hurt nowhere. Uh, Not that I know I, know. Nothing, I can't get up. I fell down, too. You, you can't see nothing uh. particularly unusual, but here we are, two grown men, and we, we can't stand up. What's happening to the ground? I don't know. But it's bad, that's for sure. I, I, I never... Never, never as long as I... Henry, listen. Listen. The whole ground is shaking. Stop me. I'm but scared. It can't be an earthquake. This ain't earthquake country. Henry! Oh, no. It's gone. The noise comes, goes. It's gone now. Let's get up. Feels good to have your shanks under you again, huh? See, we're having a terrible time of it. We sure are. Well, let's get along home as fast as we can. What's the matter? What you looking at? You look, you look kind of funny, Henry. What you staring at? You see what I see? Yep. I see you see it. Same as I do. That there ditch like. Why, she stretches out in both directions, fur as a fella can see. She's deep, too. So deep you can't see the bottom of it. And she's wide, too. Too wide to get across. That's what that big noise was. That monstrous crack then opened up right in the face of the earth, between us and the bottom of this mountain. Henry. We're up here on this mountain, and we can't get down. And, and this mountain is moving. There, 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 you poor little thing. Poor pussy. Marthy, everything all right inside? I reckon they'll never get this mess cleaned up, Clem. Expedition, the house is broke. Well, we're all right. We can get new dishes, Marthy. Come on out here on the porch and rest. I'm hunting for something, Clem. Marthy, what in, what in the earth are you hunting for that, that takes you so long? Come here. Here's what I was hunting for, Clem. Here's what. And I had a time finding it, I tell you, and all that bird's nest in there. Yes, the Bible. Yes, yes, Clem, the Bible. Oh, Clem, with all this awful goings on going on, I, I want to have the good book handy. Yes. But, Clem, when that awful crack at your slam bang come, I, I didn't know <laughs> what to think. Yes, she sure rattled everything around, whatever she was. Every dish, Clem, every yes. single dish. Yes, you said that, Martha. Uh, what was it, Clem? Oh, I can't figure it out. Why, well, it seems like the whole world just started to... Martha. What, Clem? Martha, take a look over yonder. Oh. At that mountain, look. The mountain, Clem, the mountain. There's a great, big, tremendous crack in it yes. running crossways. It weren't there before, I... Clem. It makes it look as if the whole mountain was kind of leaning this way. Uh, Clem, we got to uh, run. No, no, Marthy. Oh, why ever not? We ain't run. Oh, Clem, no. something terrible's taking place. The mountain uh, looks like it's... Marthy, my eyes are pretty good for an old feller. Good enough for me to see that there's two men standing up there on that mountain. Oh, you well, see. So there be, Clem. Well, well let him climb down. No, and, no, and Marthy. Then... Marthy, them fellers can't get down. They're on the wrong side of that tremendous crack. No, we're not running away. I admit I don't know what's happening, but, but we ain't running. Not until I can 
try and help them fellers some. Well, there's old Thunderhead. Hmm. The traditional topography, I see. Mm. See how it sort of stands out by itself? Oh, yes. Yeah. On the edge, so to speak, of those larger mountains. Yes, this is a good place to see it, up here on this ridge. Just have to cross this valley here about a mile. We'll be right on the slopes of old Thunderhead. You sure that's the right mountain? Oh, positive. I've been checking these dials all the way. That's the one. Even make out the dirt road winding up that crooked valley. That's the only way in and out of the mountain. That's the road the cottagers and the fishermen take. Mm. Mm. That's the warning signal. The danger signal. Something's taking place over there. Yeah. Something we can't see. But we can see it. What's the course? Right there by that little road. Yes. Oh, this is fantastic. It's incredible to see a thing like this. Look at that. Watch, Bill. See how the, the rock falls? The, yeah. That outcropping over there. Yeah. It's, it's like... Uh, well, it's like falling over a slice of bread, yes. Oh, tremendous. Strange. How strange to stand here in perfect safety and see this happen. And yet we're so far away, we, we, we can't even hear it. Yes. There's a phrase somewhere. I don't know where. Something about moving mountains. I know. Well, we're seeing a, a mountain move. Ah, oh, there. See, it, it, it subsided again. Uh -huh. That's what always happens, you know. There are a few upheavals like that one, increasing in violence, and the whole mountain goes. When the crevasses appear, it's, it's only a matter of time. How much time? An hour, maybe more, maybe less. But once the crevasses come up, the mountain is on the move. The road! The road! In and out of the mountain! What about it? It's gone! I don't like the look of things, Bill. These readings all point to the fact that the mountain is ready to let go. Are you sure? Well, every scientific test I've made, and I've made them all, makes it a positive fact. Mr. Chenoweth, the explosive. It's our only hope. Uh, are we almost there? Yes, just around this bend. That house down there, do, do people live there? Yes. Say, we, we, we've got to get them away. If that mountain goes, that, that house will vanish. Hey, you in there? No use calling. Why not? I can see them. It's an old man and his wife. They, they live there, but they're not there now. Well, where are they? Up there. Up on the edge of that crevasse. The crevasse? It's just like I told you, the crevasse. The last warning. Quick, give me the explosive. Stumpy and Henry are up there, too. Who? Oh, yes, a, an old man and a boy. And they're on the wrong side of the crevasse. Yes. Unless I can settle things with a high explosive, there's, there's nothing we can do for them. And for that matter, if you and that old couple stick around too long, if things go wrong, there's nothing I can do for you either. Why don't you get out of here? I want to be here, Mr. Chenoweth, to do what I can, no matter if it does seem hopeless. Very well. Suit yourself. You're here, you know. Mm, naturally. I'm a, I'm a scientist. There's work to do. I've, I've no choice. Well, I'm not a scientist, but like you, I have work to do, and I'll stay. Like you, I have no choice. Very well. But I don't get it. Come along. Let's start climbing. Bill, glad to clap eyes on you. Howdy, Bill. Hey, Bill! Hi, Henry! Hi, Stumpy! Hi, Martha. Clem. Say, Bill, things has come to a pretty pass here. Now that you are here, maybe you can tell us just what's happening. Well, it doesn't look good. But, but what? This is Mr. Chenoweth. I see. He tells me this mountain, for some unknown, but positive geological reason is due to to move i knew it i knew it all along i'm going over to the edge of the crevasse to lower the explosive down and as far as it'll go all right i'll go with you no bill the the, the less disturbance the better you stay here you and, and all these people remain quiet don't run about and, and above all don't shout say hand me that knapsack with the explosive and the prepared rope and wire thanks well, so long. Now then, I'll just crawl as, as carefully and as 
quietly as I can, right up to the edge. Hope it doesn't crumble. Oh well. I didn't want to make too much of it, but uh, I know this mountain is going. I'm sorry for all those people, the cottagers and the fisherman, Bill and his friends. Me too, I suppose. If the explosive doesn't... Ah, almost there. Gotta be careful. Well, will you look at that. The old man and the boy, they're kneeling. Praying, I guess. And, and the old man and his wife and, and Bill, they're kneeling too. They're all praying. Hmm. Well, now to the, the edge. Ah. It's a deep one, all right. Let's tie on the explosive. There. Now lower it down. 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 Ah. That's as far as it'll go. Near the end of the rope, too. Now to crawl back and press the button that will activate the charge. Slowly now. Mustn't jar anything. And so, dear Lord Jesus, we turn this whole thing over to you. Amen. He's done crawled back to that there little box. Now that's the mechanism that sets off the explosive. He's pushing a button, looks like. Oh, the earth. The, that great big crack. It's closing up. The crack is closing up. Oh, Claire. Praise the Lord. Martha. You see, Martha, the crack is closing up. In fact, she is closed up. A few smashed trees here and there, to be sure, but the crevasse has vanished, and no lives lost. And here comes that scientifical fellow. Yes. Uh, Mr. Chenoweth. Uh, Mr. Chenoweth, you have our true thanks. The crevasse is closed, Bill, and what's more, I can't detect any disturbance. The mountain seems to settle. It's back to normal. And there's no danger now, anywhere. <laughs> There are many strange occurrences in God's creation, not the least of which was the moving mountain. But, along with strange incidents, God gives us knowledge to cope with them and opportunities to really trust him. Well, see you next week for more adventure with... <laughs>